At Gurukul Universal, we believe that intrinsic motivation is essential for achieving success. In our presentation, we will examine how utilizing this form of motivation can help you maximize your challenges and relish the process. Let us move on to the next slide to investigate this concept in greater detail. Motivation that comes from within is essential when striving to reach objectives with enthusiasm and passion. Doing something out of the appreciation and pleasure you receive from the experience is known as intrinsic motivation, in contrast to extrinsic motivation which relies on external rewards such as money or compliments. Intrinsic motivation leads to far more effective results in the long run whilst extrinsic motivation can be highly beneficial but typically doesn't last long. At this meeting, we will examine methods to maximize intrinsic motivation to augment gratification and delight from the journey. Extrinsic motivation is a form of motivation based on factors external to the activity itself, be it rewards or punishments. This could be seen in a job applicant that tries to secure a job through his, her resume and works hard to attain it, seeking a certain salary range as the reward. Such incentives come from outside the activity and differentiate extrinsic motivation from intrinsic motivation which is based on the activity itself. Understanding why someone choose to do something entails understanding both extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. Motivation that originates from within is known as intrinsic motivation. It involves taking action for the purpose of personal satisfaction or growth, rather than for an external reward. This differs from extrinsic motivation, which relies on external factors such as rewards or punishments to influence behavior. Examples of intrinsic motivation can be found in operant conditioning, drive theory, latent learning, and achievement motivation. This slide is about the behaviors a person undertakes out of their own interest, and how to enhance it with optimally challenging activities. By engaging in tasks that are optimally challenging, it not only aids in personal growth but it also unlocks potential that may have previously been untapped. This is the key to finding intrinsic motivation to fulfill one's unique potential. Goals differ from biological desires and instincts as they are set with determined purpose. Drive theory, sociobiology and psychoanalysis have established that goals are set based on personal motivations and intentions. Achieving set goals relies heavily on the individual's intrinsic motivation, the enjoyment one derives from the process and the rewards associated with it. Understanding and embracing intrinsic motivation can better help us to set and reach our goals. Goals are driven by an internal drive often referred to as intrinsic motivation. This motivation comes from within, such as following a personal interest or pleasure, rather than due to external rewards or punishments. Contrast this to more traditional theories of behaviorism, social learning, and achievement motivation that concentrate on external factors influencing behavior. Challenging oneself in any activity is crucial in order to reach one's full potential but it is equally essential to make sure the task is neither too difficult nor too simple so that it is optimally invigorating. Michelangelo Buonarroti wisely remarked that if others knew how much effort he put into perfecting his work, it would not appear so astonishing. Another important aspect to consider is making sure one has fun while participating in any activity. Paul Goodman stated that enjoyment is not the prime intention but a feeling that comes from the activity itself. Last but not least, always try to do your utmost, as the proverb goes. Never ask more or less of yourself than your best. Focus on the power of your own actions and decisions to reach your goals. Celebrate the small successes that come your way and don't forget that failure is just part of the journey to success. Take control of your destiny and challenge yourself to make your dreams reality. People seek to challenge themselves for personal satisfaction and growth, 
taking into account that intrinsic motivation is the key for this. Curiosity plays a vital role in intrinsic motivation, so striving to learn more about topics that arouse your interest can be gratifying. To be successful in the pursuit of goals, it is beneficial to recognize and leverage your own curiosity, thus providing your own incentive and allowing you to reach the heights of success generated by your earnestness and enthusiasm. As Amer Khan said, if you feed the fancy, the fancy will feed you. As we delve further into the realm of intrinsic motivation, creative and role-playing task elements can be of great benefit. Unlocking their full potential requires us to open our minds and use the power of visualization and imagination. Mark Twain famously said, you cannot depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. Physicist Fritjof Capra similarly found that taking breaks from intense intellectual work can lead to surprising and joyous revelations. Visualization also plays an important role, the ability to envisage what is yet to come. Tehila Lichtenstein once said, Visualization is essential for the attainment of good that you aspire to. By cultivating creativity and imagination, we can create task elements that will boost our intrinsic motivation. Various psychological theories have aimed to understand the concept of intrinsic motivation. Goal theory differentiates between performance goals and mastery goals. Performance goals are those that emphasize displaying one's skill and typically lead to a greater sense of stress and unease. These goals usually have a lower degree of intrinsic motivation. Oppositely, mastery goals have a greater focus on learning and comprehension and commonly result in a greater degree of participation and intrinsic motivation. Mastery goals are goals focused on developing an ability or learning. They are great for encouraging people to become engaged in the task and to experience feelings of autonomy and empowerment. These type of goals can boost intrinsic motivation and provide enjoyment of the process. Associating a goal with an activity is one way to increase intrinsic motivation. For instance, setting a goal such as getting in shape can be linked to an activity like running, making it easier to stay motivated when striving to achieve the goal. In order to optimally challenge yourself and enjoy the process, it is important to decrease the activity's association with extrinsic goals. When this happens, the activity becomes more than just a means to an end and the intrinsic rewards of the activity take center stage. You will be truly engaged and motivated by it, as the reward comes from the activity itself. It is important to ensure that when it comes to intrinsic motivation, goals and activities are not overly linked. This makes sure the goal is seen as an end in itself, rather than a reward for completing an activity, like jumping rope. Motivation plays a key role for any action or project humans take on. Bolstering intrinsic motivation yields various benefits, such as raising enthusiasm for the endeavor and shielding it from outside expectations. In addition, this approach lessens the possibility of an unfavorable outcome resulting from expectations from other people. Motivation is a key factor for success in any activity. It can create a sense of purpose, provide ways to challenge oneself, and increase enjoyment of the task. Through motivation, activities can be connected to strong, intrinsic goals, thus making them more meaningful and important. This can greatly enrich the experience of completing the task, resulting in greater satisfaction. The undermining effect is a psychological phenomenon in which providing a reward for an activity perceived as enjoyable can lead to a decrease in the intrinsic motivation for the task. This effect has been studied, and is also known as the overcompensation effect. When external rewards are used as a form of controlling behavior, there can be an undermining effect. This is only true if the activity is already intrinsically rewarding or interesting. If we provide an extrinsic reward for the activity, we risk taking away the intrinsic reward of the task. 
Cognitive evaluation theory proposes that events that restrict autonomy and are experienced as controllable by external forces will reduce intrinsic motivation, while events that support autonomy and are felt to be the result of individual choice will increase intrinsic motivation. Consequently, intrinsic motivation is dependent upon the events that either support or limit autonomy. Cognitive evaluation theory proposed by Desi and Ryan in 1985 postulates that external rewards are more effective when they are perceived as an external recognition of effort and achievement rather than as a motivator. The theory also states that intrinsic motivation is derived from feelings of autonomy, competence and relatedness, and that an external reward may interfere with intrinsic motivation if it implies that the activity is externally controlled. Hence, rewarding people for their achievements may undermine their intrinsic motivation, while providing feedback and recognition can strengthen it. Motivation is an essential factor in understanding student behavior. Henderlong and Lepper, 1997, explored the difference in intrinsic motivation between elementary and middle school students in an effort to examine how it may be in contrast to extrinsic motivation. Results of their study showed a decrease in intrinsic motivation from elementary to middle school. They concluded that intrinsic and extrinsic motivations can both exist, and that the decrease in intrinsic motivation can be attributed to an increase in external factors, such as rewards and punishments. Their research provides valuable insight into the importance of understanding students' motivational needs when designing an optimal learning environment. Henderlog and Lepper, 1997, proposed that intrinsic motivation is not caused by education being perceived as less relevant to the individual. To address this, they suggested specialized, self-regulated learning schemes tailored to the individual, enabling them to be involved in the learning process for an optimal balance of challenge and delight. A study conducted by Cordova and Lepper in 1996 looked into the impact of linking learning and motivation. It involved students who were asked to solve a series of math problems, some with the numbers only and others with a personalized role-playing game. Those given the option of selecting their own game exhibited a higher level of appreciation for the task and demonstrated better performance than those without choice. The findings concluded that providing a degree of personalization is an important factor in connecting learning and motivation. Research has shown that allowing children to customize activities based on their preferences can further stimulate intrinsic motivation. An experiment conducted by Cordova and Lepper, 1996, demonstrated this. When given the option of a personalized game, children spent more time playing than those who did not have the option. This suggests that giving children the autonomy to tailor activities to their own interests can result in higher motivation levels. Wei and his colleagues conducted research in 2001 and found that providing autonomy support for children from a young age can steer them towards an intrinsic orientation and protect them from the ill effects of employing controlling strategies. Motivation can be broken down into two categories. Intrinsic and extrinsic. Whereas extrinsic motivation is driven by external rewards and recognition, intrinsic motivation comes from within and does not require external evaluation. Intrinsic motivation is often more sustainable and can lead to more meaningful accomplishments. Taking the time to reflect on what brings you joy can be an important part of unlocking and utilizing your intrinsic motivation. To reach optimal learning and intrinsic motivation, a balance between autonomy support, perceived competence, and intrinsic motivation is key. Autonomy support entails giving choices and supporting self-direction and creativity. It means promoting the learner to explore topics. Perceived competence refers to helping the learner feel emotionally secure and competent. This includes providing the learner with support at their level and understanding of the tasks. Intrinsic motivation relates to undertaking tasks for the intrinsic rewards of the activity itself. It involves offering the learner a sense of purpose and personal reward in completing the task. 
Muller and Dweck's 1998 study revealed that when effort is praised, individuals are more likely to pursue mastery goals. These types of goals are geared towards learning and gaining from the experience, while performance goals, which are associated with intelligence being praised, prioritize the outcome and are less likely to spark intrinsic motivation. Praising someone for their intelligence rather than their effort can lead to them choosing easier tasks in their next goal. Conversely, praising someone for their effort can encourage them to challenge themselves with the next task. This suggests that praise and feedback can significantly affect someone's intrinsic motivation. In choosing tasks, it is essential to take into account the aims and reasons behind the decisions. Avoidance-oriented performance goals are centered around avoiding errors, approach-oriented performance goals are centered around demonstrating competence, and learning goals are centered around taking on tasks that offer the most learning opportunity. It is imperative to keep your motivations in mind when selecting tasks to be able to obtain the best possible result. The majority of people chose to focus on performance goals when striving to complete a task or project. Performance goals involve achieving a specific level of growth or success and are useful in situations that require precise precision or a high degree of accuracy. To support intrinsic motivation in students, schools should focus on increasing personalization and autonomy in lesson plans. This could involve allowing students to pursue their own interests, implementing project-based learning, and providing students with a sense of control over aspects of their learning. This type of approach has the potential to cultivate long-term motivation, which then leads to improved performance and engagement with learning. Schools can be key in helping students develop intrinsic motivation. One effective approach is to praise students for their efforts rather than their intelligence. To emphasize the importance of the process, give grades based on effort instead of intelligence to encourage students to be perseverant and face challenge tasks. Self-regulation and taking charge of one's own learning and development are becoming ever more important for students to thrive in the fast-changing world. At Gurukul Universal, we are dedicated to giving students the tools they need to understand the importance of self-regulation and developing the skills to do so. Through offering quality instruction on topics like resilience, grit, initiative, and responsibility, we aim to equip students with the knowledge and skills to direct their own paths to success. By inspiring mastery over performance, we can foster intrinsic motivation, encourage tasks that challenge each individual, and provide enjoyment of the process to help teams and businesses reach their full potential. Raising children and encouraging social change are two issues that challenge us both as individuals and as a society. To raise responsible children, multiple influences from parents, teachers, and peers are needed. Relying solely on traditional parenting models might not provide children with all the necessary skills to be good members of the community. Therefore, different parenting techniques should be considered which might equip kids better to act responsibly. When it comes to creating social change, effective ways to convince people to care about the cause is important. Distribution of leaflets or hosting rallies can help, but it's equally essential to foster a sense of responsibility among people and to explain the importance of the issue. Individuals are more prone to act if they understand the demand and are offered the possibility to make a difference. As for fundraising, it can be hard to encourage people to share their money. Nonetheless, it's important to remind others that even small and regular contributions can have a large cumulative effect when it comes to making a difference. This talk has been about how to strengthen intrinsic motivation and how to challenge ourselves and others to make good changes in our lives and in our society.